Okay, here's something we've been seeing people post all over social media. Questions like these, quote, why are there so many photos of National Guard soldiers sleeping in the Capitol? Like, why are they sleeping? Well, we thought we'd take the time to provide some context to what you're seeing. Our sources for this story, the D.C. National Guard and Maryland National Guard. Both they and the Virginia National Guard have men and women on the ground right now protecting the Capitol building. The D.C. National Guard summed up the situation for us in a statement. The photos circulating are of Guard members on duty in a designated rest area between shifts. You see, these periods of duty can include multiple shifts within them. One guard member told us he's been on duty for 24 hours so far, with possibly another 12 to go. A spokesperson for the Maryland National Guard told us it's important to make sure members are always at the Capitol ready to respond. That strategy basically gives guard members time to refresh while unseen. Being present is the first step in ensuring the safety of our citizens and our nation's capital. But know this, guard members do get to occasionally leave the Capitol building. This is not where they're lodging uh, when, when they're off duty. Now, the D.C. National Guard did not comment on how long shifts typically are, but Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston did say on Twitter, no efforts of the members seen in these photos should be disparaged. John Henry, W. USA 9. That's right, no effort disparaged indeed. We may be heartbroken because they're here to stand watch over what's always been a peaceful transfer of power, but the entire News at 11 team is grateful for the service of these men and women. They are sons and daughters and moms and dads away from home, standing watch at the Citadel of Democracy in staggering numbers. New at 11, Tom Dempsey spoke to the mother of one guard member about how she's feeling. Everybody's pulling really long shifts, and that's very stressful on them. With her son serving on the front lines protecting D.C. as a member of the Maryland National Guard, Pat asked us not to broadcast her last name due to the details her son shared about his deployment. He said in many ways he felt he was better cared for by the Army in Afghanistan than he feels that he's cared for now. Her son, one of the many men and women serving to keep things safe ahead of inauguration day, but his time has been anything but pleasant. Pictures provided by the man's wife show service members using trash bags for blankets with meager food available. He gets a box of cold food left out on the sidewalk for him. He said cold spaghetti at eight o'clock. The global pandemic brings further worry with the troops sleeping near one another, oftentimes with masks off. He said he's not allowed to request a test 